Hello, my beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading for the end of February right through the end of March 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. Readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I'll never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <laughs> Okay, my beautiful Virgo, this is your Twin Flame Connection reading. It's for twins who are currently in separation. The first pile will be your pile, the second pile will be your person's pile, and the third pile is the unified energy of how things are going to come together, okay? Also, it's worth checking to see what a Twin Flame Connection is, because if anyone is emotionally, physically, or uh, mentally abusive, that is not a Twin Flame Connection. That is more likely to be a false flame, and that will waste your wonderful time and drain you of your beautiful love. So uh, do check up online what it means to be in a twin flame connection. Twin flames, they are magnetic. You can't stop thinking about your twin. You're drawn to this person. Um, it is a relationship like no other. It is also a very difficult relationship to navigate because there tends to be a runner, a chaser, and a separation period. And twins, you know, they come together in identical energy. So um, their energy fields kind of match when they first meet. And they tend to meet after a period of trauma or difficulty, some sort of adversity. And um, the chaser is the one who is typically more spiritually evolved than their divine counterpart. They are willing to open themselves up up to the level and depth of uh, emotion to expose their wonderful authentic heart and be connected to their twin. And of course, the runner, uh, they feel the same. They feel the intense love, they feel the emotions, but they tend to avoid their feelings because when you meet your twin, it's like looking in a spiritual mirror. It's projected energy. So all the things that you've been running away from your whole life, basically the twin who is the runner, they tend to try and avoid that even further. They feel too exposed. So they take a step back from the union because out of fear, they don't want to address the elephant in the room. So they tend to walk away from uh, their uh, divine counterpart, even though there is love, okay? because sometimes to face one's own difficulties is the hardest thing of all. And, uh, you know, twins, especially the runner, they tend to be avoiding things, compartmentalizing their life in some way where they uh, feel in order to be in control, to uh, you know have that level of power in life, um, they put all the stuff that needs to be resolved away in a little box. And when you meet the twin, that twin opens that box and is like, in order to be in a relationship, we have to, you know, really delve deep and be our wonderful authentic self. And that means healing parts of ourselves that uh, we've refused to look at or find it's difficult to look at for quite some time. So, um, you know, it has to be, I mean, look, it has to be a period of reflection and um, twins who are the runner tend to avoid that. Uh, it does feel, of course, like your twin is rejecting you but they're actually rejecting parts of themselves in order to keep themselves held together in some way. Because people who've had trauma, they have trauma responses. They have a certain way of operating in life, you know, that fight or flight kind of energy. So um, it's worth paying attention to that aspect because humans were very complex creatures. Sometimes in order to, uh, you know, remain in control of the way we have been living our lives, um, we have certain like patterns that we fall into. And sometimes 
If a person has experienced loss or has abandonment issues, you know, what they do is they start to get deep in with a person and they start to feel fear that this person could be taken away from them. So in order to remain in control, they actually decide to push the person away, inadvertently breaking their heart um, and, you know, keeping love at arm's length because they want to make sure that they are never hurt again or never abandoned again. The fear takes over and fear is a palpable thing. You know, it can really rule and govern a person's life. So I want people to be aware of that before uh, we move forward. I'm not here to give anyone an excuse. I'm not here to give anyone a way out. I'm here to try and understand the human psyche through the energies that come in and, of course, understand your twin flame connection as well so that I can transmute an outcome for you all, okay, to see what's going on and what energy you are tapping into at this time with your twin flame. Um, now, twins, they are magnetic. So I like to um, really let you know that twins, they are energy. You know, we are all energy. We all have energetic exchanges with people every day. And um, your twin is no different. Okay, so basically, uh, I like to describe twin flames as magnets. So when you have two magnets that are identical in polarities, they attract each other, but they also repel each other. There is a space in between, okay? And that space indicates um, there is time to really change the frequencies that you're in. Because, you know, if you have two magnets, remember, you are identical, you are twins, you know, if you have two identical magnets, they're never going to match. So um, you have to change the energetic frequency by taking a spiritual uh, path to uh, spiritually evolve and to step up in some way. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels. Can you please guide? Um, and once uh, each party really focuses on their own path because twin flames they tend to have a mission in life they tend to have a true calling that they must you know follow in their lifetime so you may have felt called to do something in your lifetime my beautiful virgo and you are spun off onto that path to focus on that whilst you're in separation and once you get to a certain level on that path and also you put all that care devotion love and attention on yourself and your spiritual path and you you know have unconditional love for your Yourself because remember, the cup of love starts with the self first. Okay, so if there is trust issues, codependency, uh, addictions, insecurities, you know, jealousy in that cup, you'll exchange that with another and you remain in a very, uh, you know, off kilter dynamic. If I show you the magnets, like if this is the chaser and this is the runner. If the chaser keeps reaching out to their person, you know, the runner is going to keep running. The space in between will always remain exactly the same because it is magnetic energy. And as soon as the chaser withdraws, focuses on their own path and changes the frequency, is no longer thinking about their twin, no longer reaching out. I know it's easier said than done. It's very, very hard. Then you change the frequency here and the magnet that is the runner, of course, is drawn a little bit closer and is also encouraged to spiritually evolve to change their frequency until such time as you both come together in a match. I know that when I met my twin, I had been in a very damaging experience and I uh, had been with a karmic and I was basically a shell of myself and I pushed my twin away because of course, you know, um, when I went through that damaging experience, I was numbing my pain. I did not want to fall in love. I didn't ever want to meet anyone to fall in love with ever again because I was just like hollow. You know, I've been really broken and uh, I had to really rediscover myself as it were, but also the universe saw that I was actually numbing my pain. I was avoiding my, uh, you know, spiritual healing. So, of course, they sent in the twin flame. And as soon as I met my twin, I just knew. But also, I was scared. So I pushed my twin away. I didn't mean to. I wanted to tell my twin I love them. I, you know, just felt this depth that I'd known this person forever. And it just felt like easy. But at the same time, I was scared because... I'd been in something that was truly damaging. So I pushed that person away. I pushed my twin and they kept coming forward, but I kept pushing. And then eventually, you know, that twin stepped away and was like, okay, I got the message. And, you know, deep, deep down, I did not want to hurt that person. I loved that person, but I was acting out of fear. I was keeping myself very protected. You know, there was moments where I actually wanted to say, you know, I love you, but I could not believe it. I'd never experienced a moment where words literally got stuck in my throat 
and didn't come out. It was almost like there was a block. And, you know, you see it in the movies where it's like people like trying to find the words. And normally I'm very good at finding words. But in my situation with my twin, I was like completely lost for words. And I couldn't articulate how I felt. And instead, I would say things like, you know what, you know, it's probably um, best that you don't get too close to me because, you know, things just fall apart on me. I cause destruction everywhere I go. I would come out with all those things because of my previous experience, even though I wanted to just say to this person, hold me, love me. I'm pretty broken right now. So I was very immature in my energy. But I'm coming from a point of view from a runner who when I was given the space and the breath in order to heal, then of course, I came towards my twin and my twin also has a spiritual journey. And they did not accept me readily back, of course, because they were focusing on their life's calling and also on their own healing because they had a path to uh, connect to as well. And then you know, the dynamic flips briefly. So they became the runner and I became the chaser. And then we actually came to a point where you come back to union. Okay, so I want you to be aware that you can be with your twin. Not everybody gets to be with their twin in each lifetime. It depends on the person's journey and the twin that they're dealing with, because some twins are very stubborn. They refuse to learn the lessons. So I feel it's really important for you to recognize that. Now, I'm just going to move away from that, but uh, I've been giving that to pretty much everybody because I want you to be aware that, uh, you know, sometimes uh, we feel that the runner actually has no feelings, that they disconnect and that they are just gone. But actually, I feel there's a little bit more to that, and I just wanted to explain it. However, each case is individual, and it may not resonate for all, but I had to mention it there. Your first card is the rider, okay? Now, we have the Three of Cups for you as well and the High Priestess. So I definitely see that a lot of you are in a very deep spiritual path. I feel a lot of you are thinking about moving forward or have moved forward without this person. Um, with the rider and the Three of Cups, you're about to meet someone else. OK, if you haven't already, you're about to meet someone else, someone who's going to really intrigue you. This could be someone who is a soulmate as opposed to a twin flame. Um, so I definitely see that you're going to have options. You're going to have a choice here when it comes to love. Not every twin flame has a choice, but you're going to have one. Um, I'm getting a song with this card. OK, and um it's a very famous song. It's actually out at the moment, I think, or maybe came out like last year or something. Um, I can buy myself flowers, write my name in the sand, talk to myself for hours, I think that said, say things you don't understand. Okay, so I'm getting, okay, they give me one more part, which is like, I can love me better than you can, I think. Yeah. Uh, so this is a very famous song by Miley Cyrus. Um, I definitely know that song. Um, now, this song, the chances of you hearing the song is probably going to be very high because um, it's pretty much everywhere. I prefer it when they give like a really obscure song that hasn't been heard from for years and then it pops up. But the chances of you hearing the song is going to be quite high, actually. So um, when you hear the song, it may be an indication that your person is going to reach out. Because looking at their chart, they are head over heels in love with you. This person is like, they are really in love with you, okay? Uh, not every twin flame is getting this energy. Yours is really, um, there's a lot of depth to this person. But also, I feel this person, there are some addictions here, okay? I'm just getting, yeah, I'll, I'll pull a card a little bit more. Um, I feel this person's trying to overcome an addiction, so I'll, I'll get a little bit more there. But looking at your card, I feel like you're putting your own needs first. It's number one. You're putting yourself first there, okay? You're dealing with number one, and number one is you. But also the rider energy is an indication of, you know, taking action. You are deciding to um, cut this off or withdraw from this. You've had enough, okay? I mean, that song in itself is like, you know what? Screw you. I can do stuff for me. And it's like... Um, there's an energy here of you feel that your twin didn't truly get you or um, that, you know, you're very independent, self-assured, and that you're doing this for yourself. You're stepping away in order to protect your heart, even though you may feel that um, you wanted to be with your twin and deep down your heart really is with that person, but you've had no other choice but to take action to uh, be in a self-preservation mode, okay? Um, you know, 
I feel like you're going to be a little bit more sociable than usual as well, my beautiful Virgo. And I feel like you're going to meet someone new if you haven't already. Okay, the Three of Cups tells me, you know, that there is a potential for uh, you obviously going out there and celebrating and, you know, enjoying yourself, letting your hair down, you know, living in the moment, being with friends. And also, I feel, you know, there's this energy of new arrival when you get the rider. This means a new person comes into your life, um, but also it means messaging. So I, I actually feel like you're going to have quite a conundrum because I feel like your person, you know, I feel like they're going to reach out to you. But also, I feel like you're going to have someone new who's going to be paying you attention if they're not already. But ultimately, I feel right now you're focused on your own happiness because um, this is the twin flame dynamic. But I feel also you're learning that you are a gift in love, that you offer so much in love. And I feel like now that you have that sense of value, you're not allowing um, anybody to sort of get in the way of your happiness. And I feel like you've been in this relationship and you're so done. I feel like, you know, you wanted to overcome the obstacles. I feel like you offered a high level commitment to this person. You offered your heart. But I'm also getting this energy of some of you may have met this person through like partying. Okay, I mean, for example, I'm just getting an energy of alcohol or substances here. And this is not going to resonate with everyone, of course, but maybe I'm picking up on your twins energy. Maybe this is something that's coming through there. But um, I feel right now you're trying to uh, pick a healthier lifestyle for you. And I feel like you are looking at love. You want love. You want to settle down. But at the same time, you feel this person isn't offering that at this time. It's really interesting because I feel right now, my beautiful Virgo, you're in the dynamic of like becoming the runner. Okay, that's the energy that I've got here. Uh, now, we do, of course, have the High Priestess, and this is a Virgo card. So that, again, indicates that you're putting your own needs first. You're connecting to your higher self. You're on a spiritual path. But also, there's an energy of you feeling a little bit in between worlds, a little bit in limbo with this. This is your protagonist energy as how you feel about your person. Okay, some of you may even feel that your person has somebody else. But looking at their energy, I feel they're alone at this time. The twin flame that I'm picking up, they are alone, okay? They're not with anybody. Um, now, the high priestess is an energy of being mute, okay? It's to go within, to be insular. So I definitely see that you've withdrawn. You're very cautious in this connection. You don't trust this person. I feel there may be some trust issues there. And it may be because this person withdrew as well, uh, because the two of wands indicates this person waited, you know, there's a waiting energy here. Um, but I do see that this person, they are going to come towards you. We've got the Queen of Pentacles here. So this person's thinking about you. That's a Virgo card. There's a lot of Virgo energy. I mean, you could also be dealing with another Virgo. Um, and I feel this person is seeing how alike you are, but also how um, I feel there was some sort of third party influence in this connection. And I want to say, it's like friends and partying. You know, it just feels so much like someone numbing emotions. So I'll, I'll check out what that is for your person. They've got a lot of cups here, um, but I feel like they are trying to leave that lifestyle behind. They've done a lot of self-reflecting, but is it a little bit too late is what I'm getting here. Because with the high priestess, I feel like, you know, you don't trust this person or you don't trust the union and, you know, you've gone insular. I also feel like you're guarding your energy and you've learned a lot in this connection. And I feel uh, it, it's almost like I'm getting the time is now to move forward because I feel like you've waited. The high priestess is to stop and wait and to observe, but also to really tap into your intuition. What are your intuition your intuitive hunches telling you at this time, okay? So I definitely see that a lot of you are developing your spiritual gifts, but also your overarching energy is, is it time to move on if you haven't already? Now, the Three of Cups, the Three of Cups is celebration, okay? And I'm picking up an energy, and I'm going to pull a card on it because I actually feel that if you haven't heard from your person, you are going to, and I feel part of you may celebrate this, like um, finally they've reached out or they've messaged but at the same time, I feel like there's an apathy there. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. You do have love for this person. You do have a lot of feelings for this person. But I feel like you've been loyal to this person. And I feel like you're, yeah, I mean, the strength card indicates you're tempering your emotions. You know, I feel like you've been the bold and daring one who's tried to do something different. 
in this connection to try and heal this. But right now you're in a period of remaining calm and you can overcome obstacles in this connection if you want to. But I feel right now you're trying to find balance in your own life and you feel that this person... Um, it's like they kept you waiting for a long time. So I feel like you've had to be strong, strong enough to give yourself some sort of closure on this or contemplate having closure on this. Seven of Swords, okay. So, you know, it's not a game. I don't feel like this isn't a game. It's an energetic exchange. But some of you are thinking maybe you should give this person like a taste of their own medicine. I feel this energy... Um, and this is not going to resonate with everyone, okay? So don't shoot the messenger. I just feel it coming through, so I have to mention it because not every Virgo out there is going to want this twin to have a taste of their own medicine. But I feel like you are tipping the balance into becoming the runner there um, because you've had enough. I feel, you know, enough is enough here. I feel like you've given everything you could and you are um, really looking at the way that they are have conducted themselves. I mean, the Seven of Swords is the card of the runner, but I also feel like there may be some trust issues here. Um, I can't see anything that has led this person to give you trust issues. It's not coming up right now, so I have to uh, accept that. I can't give you something that's not there at this moment in time. But with the Seven of Swords, it can also indicate, uh, because the Seven of Swords, the history of that card is actually um, that you are being very independent. You're thinking about you and that you're actually um, focusing on your own needs, but you're also doing things differently. And, you know, the Seven of Swords can indicate that you feel this person doesn't understand you or there was some sort of misunderstanding at the very beginning of this connection, the foundation of it that has led um, both of you to be very cautious or both to be like really like do very bold and weird things. Okay, so um, that's what's coming out there as well. Now, the Seven of Swords, you know, as I said, the history there, this figure is removing the weaponry so that the army cannot fight. This person does not want to fight. I feel like you don't want to fight this anymore. I feel like you don't want to be hurt anymore. You know, the weaponry is um, something that has the potential to hurt. So I feel like you're removing the potential to be hurt right now. And you're trying to activate self-care and self-love. Again, I feel like you didn't want it to go this way, but you've had no other choice. And this is how you feel about this person. Three of Cups can also indicate some of you feel that this person has someone else, but looking at their chart, I feel that they actually have feelings for you. Um, but I'm not sure what they've been waiting for. I feel like their addictions have kept them waiting. So um, I will see about that uh, when I get to their energy. But I also feel like you're going to hear from this person. And it may be when you're out with friends is what I feel there. Uh, the Three of Cups is actually to share as well. So I feel like you've shared a lot of yourself with this person. And... I feel right now you just want to enjoy yourself. Like life got pretty serious and I feel that you want to uh, lighten up a little bit. You want to enjoy the moment. And um, I feel like some of you, when you get this message, you'll feel a little bit excited that you got a message from this person. But I feel experience has taught you to see the broader picture rather than get too excited that they've messaged because you may feel that they're in a repetitive cycle. So I feel like you're cautious about this. Now, this person, they may invite you to something or, I mean, I am getting, and this is not, this is definitely not going to resonate with everyone. I get this energy of some of you may actually um, meet your twin when you're out with friends and they're out with theirs. There may be a moment where you bump him to your twin, but that's really minuscule amount. I would say that's about 7% energy that I've got coming through. But the rest of you, I feel like you are going to hear from your person. Okay. Now remember this pile, the second pile is your person and how they feel about you. That's what I'm clarifying here. And they have the hearts. This person is in love. Now it's number 24 there. Uh, 24, when you reduce it, 2 plus 4 is 6, the number of the lover's card. And they also got the lover's card. This person, they have very deep feelings for you. And I feel that this person, they also thought about settling down with you, building a life with you, but they are in a very protective measure, okay? Because the Queen of Pentacles can be conservation, someone who protects themselves. So I have to see why, okay? Uh, because they got a Queen of Pentacles here as well, just to let you know. Uh, now, the Queen of Pentacles is a Virgo card. So this person is thinking about you and how much they love you. 
but also I need to see why uh, there is a separation here because the way I see it right now, if I'm looking at the chart, is that they are like in a period of awakening where they see so much love around you and they want to offer a relationship. But right now you're withdrawing and you're like, you know what, now I'm not ready. Now I'm focusing on partying, enjoying myself or getting my life together, enjoying life. Or you're looking, you know, a little bit beyond this connection. So let me just see why was this separated in the first place what's going on there five of swords self-sabotage okay this person they tended but i feel it's connected to addictions now addictions don't have to always be substances they can be cycles that we're addicted to you know protective cycles someone who potentially has been hurt in the past so uh, rather than get hurt again they inadvertently hurt the other person by pushing them away but the five of swords is self-sabotage and it feels like, and this is why it came out briefly, what I said earlier, it feels very much like, you know, this person, they may have left like a wake of destruction in their path when they were younger. I feel like they're starting to mature, but this is something from um, the past. This person has a lot of baggage. Their baggage haunts them. And I feel it actually has uh, stopped them from progressing in this relationship and they needed to sort through that before they could open up to the love that they have for you so I do feel this person does love but I also feel my beautiful Virgo that you're exhausted with the way that this has gone you just are tired of getting hurt in the cycle and it's a lot I feel some of you are looking at this like you didn't want to be connected to a project you want love you want passion you want romance you just want a relationship where um you both can settle in and know that you're on the same team but this person is battling their own inner self and you can't help that person you need to just help yourself in the situation you can be there as a friend of course and i feel like you've done that for this person you tried to support them through this uh, but it is their baggage to sort through and it is unfair that they come to the union you know uh, with all that baggage and it gets in the way of the union it's important for them to heal so i do feel that this person with the eight of cups they're going to try a different approach okay i feel like this person is walking away from a lifestyle that has not been fulfilling for them and they're choosing love this person is choosing love at this time but you know there's this energy of it's potentially a little bit too late because you're withdrawing or have withdrawn already now the queen of pentacles tells me that this person you are on their mind Okay, but also I feel uh, for some of you beautiful Virgos out there, um, your twin may have family responsibilities that they've had to put first over the union. Okay, because I'm getting an energy of sacrifice here. Uh, it could also be um, this person, they're a very tough cookie, whoever they are. Uh, I feel like um, they've had to be strong in life because life has been a little bit difficult for them. But life has been difficult for all of us, of course, and we all make our own choices. I do feel to some degree this person has regretted some of the choices that they made. It put them on the wrong path. However, here we are. And I feel this person, um, they focus on ambition, on money, on creating a life of stability for them. Um, I feel this person has focused a lot on comfort in their life. Uh, this is a card of protection. So I do feel this person is a little bit closed off or was closed off to love when you first met. Um, but I'm feeling here that this person may have like family responsibilities. For example, they may look after like, um, you know, a parent or guardian, or um, if they have children, I feel like they are putting their needs first before their own. I'm just getting this energy of, you know, pouring love into another situation that feels more like family. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to pull a card on that for you thank you so much for it guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful virgo what do they need to know in this connection can you please guide them for their highest good what are they meant to be aware of can you please show them the way okay king of swords and the eight of cups okay so king of swords is to be very detached okay um but it's also to be uh you know full of responsibility to do the right thing 
Okay, so I'm really picking up on that there. Uh, this person, it's almost like they use reason and intellect over their emotions. They've had to almost like put their emotions in a little box. But with that Eight of Cups there, I feel like they're walking away from this. I feel like they are starting to open themselves up to a spiritual journey. They want to see beyond their current circumstances. And I feel this person is really like re-examining their life to date, how they have been so detached, how they have... Um, always done the right thing, but it may not have been the right thing for themselves. It feels like it was the right thing that was done for other people. Okay. Um, with the Eight of Cups, yeah, I feel like they're walking away from a situation that has kept them stuck or feeling emotionally unfulfilled for quite some time. Uh, so I feel like they may tell you about it. Um, to be honest, I feel it's like a parental or guardian type figure or somebody, uh, I feel like someone older that this person is connected to and they're just like caring for this person is what I'm feeling. But it could also be children, but I am getting this sort of like unconditional love for a person that is not romantic is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, and this person is thinking about walking away from this in order to settle down and choose love. I feel this person is going to choose love, okay? Um, now, we do have the lover's card, so that really indicates that this person has a choice to make, but also I feel like they know that you are their twin. To get the hearts and the lover's card and the queen of pentacles, which is a Virgo card, this person is, as I said, head over heels in love, but I feel like they've chosen responsibility. You know, even if you look up the meanings of the cards in the Lenormand deck, the bear represents that level of responsibility, of protection, of having to be strong, of having to be a provider in some way, uh, to take the lead in some situation. It could be that this person, you know, they had to grow up really quickly when they were younger and that sense of responsibility was thrust upon them. And um, I feel like they want to find happiness. They want to find love. And again, I'm not here to make anyone feel sorry for this person or give this person an excuse. I feel this person, you know, they have a lot of passion and a very deep bond with you. And I feel like they want to be together with you. Okay. Um, I'm just going to see if there's anything else going on there with this person. Oh, okay. The sun card. They want to be happy. Okay. They want to reveal all as well. I feel this person has been very um, secretive about this. It's like they didn't want it to... Hmm, I don't know how to put that. It's like they own the fact that they have these responsibilities, but they... It's almost like they didn't want to expose the person they're looking after, or I don't know what that means. Um, it's like they... They didn't want the person that they're helping or looking after feel like a burden. You know, Ten of Wands, it can be like a burden. Sometimes, uh, you know, you have that level of responsibility on your shoulders and it feels really heavy and you have to adhere to those things. But at the same time, it's not really a burden because you love that person and you have feelings for that person and you want to do the best thing for that person. So... That's the energy that I've got here. But this person, if they haven't told you already about this, I feel like they will. They will expose um, what they've been going through to you. But also they are going through an awakening. And I feel right now they're going through a major period of personal development and they're choosing to be happy for themselves. So this person's going to reach out. Also, I feel to some degree this person has been using um, like a numbing agent. It feels like they've been avoiding their feelings or they've put their feelings in a little like box because they couldn't really process them at this time. Uh, I do feel this energy of like alcohol, okay? Um, like I'm swaying a little bit. So perhaps your person was, um, you know, using some sort of addiction in order to numb the fact that they've had to have certain responsibilities and choose those responsibilities over love. But I feel this person um, they're walking away from that now. So they may even tell you if you've known that this person was connected to some sort of addiction, that they're getting clean. Okay, that's what I'm hearing right now. Uh, number 15 is the devil card energy. So that indicates this person has been feeling stuck. That can also connect, as I said, to addictions there. But also I feel this is, you know, 
your person really reflecting on what has been keeping them helpless to change their situation. And they're really starting to look at their emotions. Are they ready right now for a relationship? Because this reading is for the next six weeks. The answer is um, not really. I feel like they're in the process. I mean, this person is going to declare their love for you. This person loves you. As I said, head over heels in love with you. However, we do have the two of wands here, which means, you know, that there is um, a yearning for you. They're going to reach out, but at the same time, um, there is still going to be a bit of a delay or you're still going to wait for results. Okay, so this person, they may tell you that they're going through, uh, you know, the steps of, um, you know, giving up alcohol or that they are currently dealing with um, the legalities of, uh, you know, a personal issue. Um or that, you know, for some, it may be that if they've been caring for, um, like, uh, a parent or guardian, it could be that things have got to a point where now they have to enlist help and it frees up their time a little bit more. Um, so that's coming out there as well. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but I'm sending a huge hug out there if you're dealing with things like that, because it's truly difficult indeed. But the Two of Wands is, you know, an energy of... Um, planning. Okay. So it's like planning to move away from this situation. So I feel like they're in the midst of making arrangements in order to put themselves in a position to go after their own happiness. Um, so we've got the Eight of Cups there. I mean, for some, it could be like if your twin has children, for example, because this is not age specific, um, you know, it may be that their children are going off to college, right? So that means that they don't have to be physically uh, at home looking after them, making sure that they have some sort of stable emotional environment there, um, or it could be something like that. So I just want you to be aware there's something happening in this person's life that is freeing themselves up and they can now have the freedom to venture into their emotions, really discover life for themselves and choose a different path that is right for them. But also I feel with the Eight of Cups, anyone who's walking away on the Eight of Cups, they stumble onto the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment. And I feel right now their primary focus, because this pile is how they feel about you. It's love. So I feel like they are coming to find you. Okay. Uh, now your energy, the outcome energy, you've got the dog, which means, of course, that you are loyal, you're faithful, and that you see that this person is your twin flame. However, you are intuitively feeling a little bit cautious. It's number 18, which is the moon energy. So you don't really know how this is going to go. And at this time, I feel you're in between worlds where, you know, normally the moon card, there tends to be like a dog and a wolf. You know, the dog is very much like wanting to settle down, which I feel you do because you've got the dog there. But the wolf is also this level of independence, you know. Um, so I feel some of you are a little bit uh, unsure as to whether this twin Twin flame can offer you the security of a relationship that you crave. And um, this person really needs to step up and show you with action that they want to be with you. I feel like you have waited a long time and you really are a trusty companion, but you deserve to be loved on your own terms as well. You know, you're not here to be someone's emotional crutch, even though you're a wonderful friend and supportive um, person, nurturing to this person, it's really important to recognize that you deserve passion and sensuality and the big love story that you've been hoping to achieve in life. And I feel some of you have a lot to think about right now. Um, I mean, the dog energy, it kind of represents, you know, trust, you know, to try and trust this union um, that, you know, you've been protecting yourself because some of you may not trust that this person can support uh, the union in an emotional way or that they are going to be a constant presence in your life. And, you know, without trust in a relationship, of course, there is nothing. So unless this person can show you with action, over words and I feel like they will step up because their intention with the Queen of Pentacles is to step up. Now it's really important to recognize that sometimes we can be totally in love with a person and they feel exactly the same way as us but circumstances can get in the way and it can feel like we're misaligned you know so we cannot be heading in the same direction at that time due to alternative circumstances right so I feel your person 
I've already mentioned this, they've had some sort of level of responsibility. Uh, I mean, it could be that this person has had to do a very demanding job. For example, they could have been working in the services where they've given themselves to um, their country. And, you know, whilst they have been investing in that and they truly love you, they can't really invest in the relationship that they want at this time because of those circumstances. So I really want to make people aware of the circumstances that I feel is involved in this connection. Now, you have the King of Cups. The King of Cups indicates you have a beautiful heart. You are so loving and pure in your intentions. And, you know, you have a lot of empathy with this person. I mean, these two cards... It indicates you love this person, and if they could step up and show you, then you would, you know, welcome them into your heart. But they have to prove to you, and if they cannot, then I feel like you're really cautious, and I feel like, you know, um, you are standing in your power. You know what you have to offer when it comes to love. I mean, there are two people here, uh, even though it's not 100% a match at this time, it's two people offering two different things from two different viewpoints. There's two people who have the potential to come together in love because there is love, okay? And um, there is also an ace of pentacles, which means there is somebody new. And this is for you, my beautiful Virgo. So there will be someone entering into your life who is offering the potential of a, a relationship, the start of something. This is a soulmate energy. And it's an opportunity to get to know someone better, of course. And you get to decide whether you want to be with your twin or not. But um, I feel like there is going to be a choice. Aces are the start of something new, okay, but with a solid foundation. So it can also indicate that you and this person have the potential to start again, but with a solid foundation. However, your person needs to, um, you know, overcome their fears or overcome the responsibilities in order to step up or you're stepping out. Um, the Hermit. The Hermit indicates uh, a period of pause, reflection, you know, um, to really get clear on what it is you want. Of course, it is a Virgo card as well. Okay. Um, now, for some of you, I feel like you're choosing the soulmate because the hermit with the ace of wands, aces, remember, are new. So I feel like there's a spark of chemistry between you and someone new. And because you're hurt, because the nine of wands is the wounded warrior, it's like you feel your better option is to go for someone new. And that's, of course, your right and your prerogative there. But also I feel... Um, some of you are questioning whether your twin flame is in love with you or in lust with you. And I feel intuitively you know that it's love. I mean, looking at their cards, they're presenting as love. But I feel, you know, with the nine of wands, there has to be an honest, open dialogue with you and your twin for your twin to take accountability for their actions that had repercussions in this relationship. So I feel you're going to have a lot to think about. Can you and your person come together? and heal things? The answer is absolutely yes. Is it going to be a project? Absolutely yes. Is it going to be uh, easy? Um, I feel it's not going to be easy, but I feel it will be rewarding when you uh, come together and make it work. But there is going to be some time that is needed in this connection. Is there someone coming who's new and passionate and exciting to get to know? Absolutely. And that is a soulmate energy as well. So you will have to decide ultimately who you want to be with, okay? And right now, you may not be able to see anybody new coming in, but I feel there's a lot of heartbreak in this connection, a lot of choices that have been made in order to do the right thing that have not really been what the person actually wanted to do, but had to do. And um, so I feel it's a very complex situation, your one, okay? Um, so... These are um, cards that indicate unspoken conversations of the heart. And it says there, I'm heartbroken and need healing. I'm heartbroken and need healing. Okay. And I feel this is your energy right now. That's why you're stepping away because you are heartbroken and you need to heal. And um, you may have had experiences before you met your twin as well that have been triggered in this connection. And you're working on that as well. You're focusing on your true calling at this time. Um, your person, I fear you will never forgive me. 
And I definitely see that that is something that is on their mind. But I do feel they're going to try and like go that extra mile to try and win you back. I need courage to face my feelings. And I feel this person, their courage was some sort of substance. And now they are moving away from that. They have to have like real life courage where, you know, they have to face themselves. And that's what this card is all about. They're facing themselves and uh, the choices that they made and what has been keeping them stuck. So I feel like they are processing, they're heading in the right direction. Are they ready right now? The answer is no. But looking at your chart, you can't wait anymore. You can't do this. So I feel some big decisions have to be made and only you, my beautiful Virgo, can make those. Okay. So I'm just going to go and get a trinket or room before we close. Okay. What have we got here? Oh, wow. So we do have a little heart, okay, a token. Uh, really interesting. I'm seeing something really random in the water right now. I had no images for you until just now, like like proper images that have come through that are really clear that I can see. And I'm seeing like, you know, like a ring pull from like a can of Coke or a ring pull from like a can of something. I'm just seeing like someone pull that off. It's almost like, um, you know, as if someone gave it as a gesture of a ring, like, a will you marry me like proposal maybe like a almost like a joke so maybe you or your person once joked took the ring pull off a can and gave it as like a ring or maybe this is something that is to come I'm not really sure so um please take it as it resonates uh I mean it could also be that you know it's like this person is opening a can of worms in their life in order to really face stuff. But they're, the image I'm being given is more about the ring pull itself, like it coming off the can. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not really sure how else to decode that. Um, now, we also have the dragonfly, which represents soulmate energy, twin flame energy as well. Okay, so uh, this is about, you know, you being with the person who makes your heart sing. And um, we come to this lifetime and time is so short. So I feel it's about living in the moment and really following your passions and not allowing yourself to hold yourself back. And this is as much for your twin as it is for you. It's for everybody, really. So this is an indication that whoever you choose, you will truly be happy with that person, my beautiful Virgo, but it is your choice to make. Uh, we also have uh, the musical notes. So it indicates you and this person, the vibrations are changing. Uh, there is spiritual evolution here. And both of you, your soul song, it calls out to each other. But it has to come in a vibration that matches that you can come together um, in reciprocity. Also, we have uh, the clam. Okay, so I do feel this person has yet to really open up but I do feel that this person is working on that. And um, we also have the ring. So, I mean, there is a commitment coming in for you, whether it's your twin or whether it's a soulmate, that's your decision to make. But I do feel you and this person, you can commit to each other long term, but there's a lot to process first. Okay, so... I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you, my beautiful Virgo. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Virgo, and love and light.